It's my pleasure to share in the joy of celebrating Kenya Girl Guides Association centenary. This is indeed a significant milestone that I, as patron of the association, am proud to be part of. Today, we mark 100 years and look back with pride at the achievements, impact, and growth of the Girl Guide movement in Kenya. We celebrate the association's epic journey spanning over 10 decades and reflect on the greater journey that lies ahead. Above all, we celebrate the founder, Lord Baden-Powell, and the gracious Lady Ola Baden-Powell, both of whose pioneering work and vision shaped the Kenya Girl Guides into what it is today. A movement built on a solid foundation of values and a legacy of rich heritage, diversity, purpose, and service. The association has grown into a respected and admired movement, living true to its core belief of upholding human dignity walking in integrity, exemplifying servant leadership, demonstrating spirituality, and being a model citizen. I salute the women who have been instrumental in spurring this movement to where it is today. It is because of your voice, your contribution, your leadership, and your sacrifice in driving the agenda of empowering the girl child and the woman that we all stand here today. Your individual and collective commitment is a testament to the inspiring guide promise that urges us to live to our pledge, doing your best in your duty to God and country. In this regard, I kindly request that we observe a moment of silence for one of our older guides, Mrs. Janice Wanjirunganga, who passed away on Wednesday evening. May God rest her soul in eternal peace. As patron, I am also proud to see members of the Kenya Girl Guides, some of whom we are recognizing here today, continue to blaze the trail. The footprint of your devotion and impact is evident in our communities. 
our learning institutions, the marketplace, our nation, and beyond our borders. The journey of the Kenya Girl Guide movement is indeed one of a thousand miles with its primary objective of uplifting the girl child and women in our society and addressing their unique needs and challenges. The intergenerational composition of the movement is diverse, a valuable attribute that we must exploit to empower our future generations through mentorship, growth, and learning. I am indeed very pleased by the progress of the recruitment of girls into the guiding movement. I also note today that we shall be rolling out the new guiding program that localizes the guiding curriculum to suit our own environment. This year's Thinking Day theme, Awakening Her Potential, resonates with the objectives of the new guides program that aim to ensure that our girls are given the space to shine, thrive, and claim all possibilities for their individual futures. We must continue to awaken them in the spirit of integrity, championing the social values we aspire as a nation. So as we commemorate 100 years of the Kenya Girl Guides Association, it's my hope that we shall remain inspired to learn, create, and be part of the change we want to see in our communities, our institutions, and our country, Kenya. I thank all our partners, many of whom are represented here today. You have become our beacons of support through your contributions, commitment, and goodwill. Once again, I congratulate the entire community of the Kenya Girl Guides Association. I wish you all an exciting day of celebrations and safe travel home. Happy 100th anniversary. Thank you. I'm delighted to join you, Your Excellency, to congratulate the Girl Guides Association on this momentous occasion to mark the 100 years since its establishment under the theme, Awakening Her Potential. The theme is very exciting and stimulating because my ministry, especially the State Department of Gender, works around the programs that to try to provide equal opportunities for both men and girls and women to maximize their potential, both politically, socially, culturally, and I'm sure this theme of awakening our potential is going to be nurtured around that environment. Your presence here, Your Excellency, today, as a patron of Kenya Girl Guides Association, is a big testimony of your commitment to empowerment of girls to be able to take up the rightful role to create a better Kenya. Your Excellency, as a ministry responsible for policies that support children, girls, and women empowerment, we place immense importance on, this value, on the values and the principles that help shape the young minds for a better and inclusive future. We appreciate the ongoing and the consistent efforts, initiatives, and the commitment by the young people and the Kenya guidelines, including the recent commitment in leading the discussions on issuing statements on the global call to action on COVID-19 pandemic on girls. This is a demonstration of the role of this organization as a change maker. Your Excellency, the President, I also want to thank the team of Professor Guru as a Chief Commissioner for having sustained this organization to celebrate 100 years. It is no mean achievement. Can we give them a clap? 
It also places immense responsibility to know that you're adding the button to the year 101, and the theme you have chosen, I think, are to be delivered because you have carried the button well. Your Excellency, in conclusion, this centenary celebration is an important as it provides an opportunity to reflect on the gains of the last 100 years and chart a way forward in raising girls and women of great character. Exactly 100 years ago, Girl Guides uh, came to Kenya from the United Kingdom and has taken root since. I'm happy to know that over the years, the movement has grown and transformed into what it is today. The largest youth organization for the girls and young women in Kenya with over 120,000 youth members. I believe the sense of community and outreach at the heart of the Girl Guide is more important now than ever before. The beautiful young ladies we are seeing here today are the beneficiaries of the pioneering efforts. Your Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya, the world has changed a great deal for girls over this past century. We are fortunate that here in Kenya, young girls and women now have the kind of opportunities our forebearers could only dream of. It humbles me that the Girl Guide Association continues to focus on enabling and empowering girls and women to grow in, into confident, self-respecting, responsible members of our community, community using an informal education approach. And standing here today as the governor of Nairobi, I want to say I'm very proud of the Girl Guide Association because I started as a brownie into a girl, girl guide to what I am today. So I know, and as I stand here today, I see leaders in this forum. And I believe the Girl Guide Association is going to give us more and more leaders of this country as we forge forward.